we all have to deal with the expected climate change and with soil subsidence. At the same time, our urban areas are continuously expanding. In every delta region in the world, there are many lives to be protected and valuable property to be preserved. In the Netherlands, almost 60% of the country is prone to flooding. We have a long history of protecting the land against the water. Now we are challenged once again. The main issues are flood risk management and fresh water supply. Both are essential for the future of our nation and our open economy and culminate in this region of Rotterdam. As a result of the advice from the second Delta Commission, chaired by Mr. Fehrman, present here, I started in February as government commissioner for the Delta program. I am made responsible by the government for the preparation with a lot of partners of the national Delta program and the implementation of the measures. The objective of the program is to keep the Netherlands safe for the long term and an attractive place to live and work. Not as a response to a disaster, but to avoid it. This requires, as you all know, political courage. There is still time to prepare ourselves, realistically and down to earth, as the Dutch are used to. But we have to start now, since the planning and implementation of larger measures, as you know, takes time, sometimes decades. The first version of the Delta program was presented last week at the opening of the Dutch parliamentary year. I will update this program annually. Measures will not only involve dikes or barriers. If possible, we choose sustainable solutions, working with nature and taking into account the economy and other aspects of integrated spatial planning. A good example is the extra room we give to our main rivers. This will not only improve safety, but also the environmental quality. One of the biggest challenges, in my opinion, is dealing with uncertainties in the future climate, but also in population, economy, and society. This requires knowledge and science, but also a new way of planning, which we call adaptive delta management. It seeks to make, maximize flexibility, keeping options open, and avoid login. In the meantime, we prepare the so-called larger delta decisions about the measures to take if our current water system reaches its limits. In addition, a solid financial and legal basis is required to guarantee implementation in the long term. So, in the Netherlands, we work with the five Dutch Ds. A Delta program, Delta decisions, a Delta fund, a Delta act, and the Delta commissioner. This approach appears to be also a very interesting export product. But first, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, allow me to show you the short movie on our approach. Instead of this talking head, I brought with me talking images, and that's also attractive for you. Thank you very much. years ago large parts of our country looked like this just water and since then the Dutch have done something we are really good at building a clever system of dunes dikes and big pumping stations 
behind which, over the centuries, we have built a very prosperous nation, with cities, of course, agriculture, industry, and a lot of nature. We have many precious things to protect. That's why we have to continue working on the Delta. Because the sea level is rising and the soil is subsiding. The temperature is going up and we expect longer rainy and dry periods. At times too much water, at others too little. That demands an active approach, no longer reacting to disasters like we did with the Afsluitdijk or the Delta Works. With 16 million people to protect, as well as our enormous investments in housing, business and agriculture, a flood would not only be a human disaster, but an economic one as well. That's what we want to avoid. Here, for example, in the town of Lekkerkerk, we are reinforcing the foundations of these dikes, while at the same time we preserve the unique character of this region. And all this work is, of course, a nuisance for the people who live here, but it's necessary for the safety and for the hundreds of thousands of people who live way over there behind these dikes. In other words, taking preventive measures with the Delta program, the Delta works of the future. Our primary concerns are safety and our fresh water supply. However, whenever possible, the Delta program takes a broader view. There's room for new solutions and as many aspects as possible will be taken into consideration. For example, the quality of cities and landscape, nature, agriculture and recreation. All interested parties will be involved in the proposals from the start. Authorities, interest groups, businesses, farmers and residents. We plan together, make a decision and then we go to work. Here near Wageningen, in the floodplains of the Nederrijn, we see a good example of this. We repositioned the summer dikes, created new nature, and replaced an old dam with this bridge to give more room to the water. This is another great example. With over here, saltwater Waddenzee, and on the other side, the IJsselmeer, which is the biggest fresh water reservoir in Western Europe, separated by the Afsluitdijk, a 20 mile long dam. But after 75 years, this Afsluitdijk needs to be reinforced. And while we do this, we explore other possibilities like winning energy, create new nature to use this Afsluitdijk. The Delta program will be anchored in the Delta law, and the Delta fund must guarantee that there will be enough money. The Delta Commissioner comes up with an expeditious approach. He involves all parties in the preparation and ensures its realization. The Delta program is safe and it's flexible. And it's based on the Dutch no-nonsense approach. We don't underestimate the challenges we're facing. But you don't want to do too much either, because that will be a waste of time, money and effort. So, not too little, not too much, not too early, not too late. That's the approach. And if circumstances change over time, think of the climate, then we adapt our plan accordingly. Replenishing sand is a good example of this safe and flexible, no-nonsense approach. If we see that we can protect our country very well with little less sand, we'll use less. But if our measurements show that it's not enough, we'll replenish more. By 2015, five important decisions will be presented to government and parliament. Decisions that have a great impact on the future of our delta. What will be the new safety standards for our dikes? How do we guarantee our fresh water supply? What do we do with the height of the Isomere level? How do we tackle protection of the Rijnmond area? And how must we build safe cities and towns taking water into consideration? Thinking of the Netherlands, you have to think of water. Historically, water is our friend and our foe. We owe our prosperity partly to water, but at the same time, water can be unpredictable and dangerous. And that's what the Delta program is for. And through the clever use of administrative, social and technological innovations, we create great opportunities to strengthen our ties with water. <laughs>